I'm just waiting for you now. I'm ready. All right. We are now going to do a trim, a digital trim on the output, the DDA converter on this Rosemount 3051 transmitter. I've hooked up to it using the Rosemount 268 communicator, the heart communicator, and we also have a fluke meter hooked in series with the current so we can actually read the current. Right now it's reading a pressure and putting out 16.29 or 0 .30 milliamps. I really don't care about that right now. I'm going to make sure the output of this is trimmed. So I'm going to proceed. Once again, I'm going to go into the format menu. When I descend into format, it asks me, what do you want to do in format? Well, I want to do a digital trim. So I hit the digital trim button. I want to now do an output trim. I'm going to trim the D to A converter on the output of that transmitter. So I hit the output button. Select the output trim type. You want 4 to, 20 milli 4 to 20 milliamps or some other scale? Well, I want to do 4 to 20 milliamps. Connect the reference meter. Jim's already done that. Now we proceed. About to set transmitter output to 4 milliamps. When I hit the proceed button, it will force the output to 4 milliamps regardless of the pressure coming in. It's just going to lock that output into what the microprocessor thinks is 4 milliamps. I hit the proceed button. Yeah. And we get 4.00, 4.01. And it says, enter the meter value. It wants me to type in what the meter actually tells me. And the meter is actually telling me 4, so there's no need to trim this. I can hit the enter button and proceed. Then it asks, is the transmitter output uh, sorry, transmitter output 4.000 milliamps. Equal to reference meter, yes or no? In other words, it, it did an adjustment and it's asking, confirming once again, is it equal? Well, it is, so I hit yes. About to set transmitter output to 20 milliamps. I'm going to hit the proceed button, and once again, it will ignore whatever pressure is coming in, and it will just force the output to 20 milliamps. And we verify at the meter, indeed, it is at 20 milliamps. But you could understand if the D to A converter, the digital to analog converter inside this transmitter were off for some reason, like a resistor value drifting or something, if the microprocessor processor tries to output 20 milliamps, it may not actually output I see, I see, 20 milliamps. Okay, I see why you did this first. Okay. So what we are doing here is correlating the microprocessor's perception of the current with the actual current coming out of it. We're making sure the two agree. So indeed they do agree, so our job is easy here. I just hit enter. Is it equal to the reference meter? Yep. Returning transmitter to the original output. So now it's going to return back to the original output. Our 9.2 PSI coming in is going to give us 16.3 PSI coming out. Remember this was scaled, sorry, ranged to a 0 to 12 PSI range. So if I take this, and adjust to roughly 6 PSI. I'm not going to get exactly at 6. Pretty close. All right. And so now I'm going to get pretty close to 12 million. Makes sense. Now. The output trim we just did, the D to A converter trim, is something that rarely goes out of calibration. I mean, D to A converter circuits are extremely stable. The sensor trim, on the other hand, is more liable to drift because it's dealing with a mechanical device, a diaphragm that can fatigue over time, so there's reasons that it might drift. Here's another very important, very critical reason why the sensor trim may drift. If you take this transmitter, and mount it in a different orientation. Oh, yeah. Remember gravity. yesterday we talked about how gravity, gravity will